Hi everyone and welcome to day 26. This is going to be a detox yoga practice. So you're going to notice a lot of twisting, a lot of different kind of movement for the core. You notice some poses that assist you in allowing the body to fold forward and lean back as well as side to side. So please lay your mat out, enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started with the Live Well with Marissa at Home Challenge. Thanks guys. Okay, so starting on your bottom, you're gonna scooch forward for me and you're gonna lay down onto your back. Good, now we're gonna bring our feet together and our knees apart in Supta Baddha Kunasana, which is called supine bound angle. You're gonna rest your hands on your belly if you want to. As you close your eyes, you can also rest one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly as well. So it's kind of up to you in terms of where you're comfortable. And start to find your breath. So with each inhale and each exhale, I want you to feel the breath move into each hand as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Good, continuing each breath. Continuing each inhale and each exhale. And the moment where you become fully aware of your movement. On your next breath, one more big inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. And then place your hands to the outsides of your knees. Bring your knees together for me. And you're going to hug your knees deeply into your chest and rock a little bit from side to side, please. Good. Now, as you rock, take your time and go ahead and press your feet up to the sky. Good. Exhale your hands next to you. Lift up your head, neck, and shoulders. So start to activate your stomach. Good, and then you're gonna lower one leg down and then the other. So you're gonna switch, 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 switch. Now you can stay here or breathe out of the mouth. It looks like this. Good, continue, let's do eight, seven. Add your breath if you wish, last. And done. Legs up, head down, give your knees a big squeeze, rock a little bit side to side. Good, and then rock three times, forward and back. One, two, and then all the way up to seated three. Good, cross your ankles, sit up tall, scoot your butt back a little bit away from your feet. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, seated twist to the right. Look over the shoulder. Good, lean your left shoulder into your left knee and raise your right arm up. So it's like a forward fold diagonal stretch. Good, exhale, right fingertips behind you, twist. And then inhale, center, reach up. Good, exhale, side two, twist. Sit up really tall, root down through your tailbone. And then exhale, lean your right shoulder to your knee, reach up and over your head, lengthen, stretch, lengthen, stretch. You got this. Three, two, one. Now come all the way back up into your twist. So look over the shoulder. Nice. Three, two, and come forward. Let's plant our feet, fold forward at the top of our mat. Exhale, breathe out as we fold. Good, roll all the way up to stand, squeeze those legs, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen, flat back. Exhale, fold in. Good, plank pose, step back. Right knee, right tricep, tap. Left knee, left tricep, tap. Good, eight, tap. Seven, add your breath. So it's last three, 
two, and then one and one. Hold it. Good, big press back. Let's go to dog. So it's kind of like you're blowing out a candle, but you're blowing out like 30 candles. So think about that when you push the breath out. So then it's like that O-shaped sensation of the mouth. Good, exhale, take your time, come back to plank. Lower all the way down to your bellies. So we have three cobra poses. So inhale, you can go right to straight arms if you want, it's totally up to you. And then you're gonna exhale, come down slowly. Good, inhale, press up. And lower, give me one more, okay? So ground into those palms, come up, up, up. Good, child's pose, hips to heels. Nice. Inhale, tabletop. So a few cat and cows, so inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. Last one, inhale. Good, tuck and round guys. Roll, 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 hold this. Three, now shift forward and back for two. So you're holding that cat pose as you're moving and then we're gonna exhale, curl, push back. Good, now lift your right leg way up into the air. So one, two, three, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, step forward. Keep your left hand down, inhale, peel up. So take a big twist. Good, three, two, side angle. Right hand inside of your leg. Spin your back heel down. Lean your shoulder to your knee, so like cuddle it up and then peel your left arm straight up to the sky, good. So you're leaning back to lift your heart open. Broadening through the heart, getting that nice lateral stretch in here. Three, two, look down at your right hand, good. Left hand is gonna lower kind of towards the middle of your mat because you're gonna pivot to the left. So you're in a wide legged forward fold. Good, go ahead and rise up, take your time, inch by inch, bone by bone. Good, toes out, 10 and two. So I want you to pivot those feet apart. Exhale, squat low. Inhale, reach up. Good, squat low. Reach up one more time. Squat low. Now, you're gonna take your hands on your thighs, take your shoulder, dip it in, look over the other shoulder. Really press into those legs. Good, side two, dip it in. Look over the other shoulder. Nice, inhale, straighten out your legs. Exhale, pivot, right foot forward. Left hand to hip, you're gonna reach, 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 reach. So don't pop this hip out. Engage the stomach so it's not this like big pop. And then reach, reach, reach. Find your block if you want, hand to shin. Good, or the ground. I like to kind of widen my feet once I get down and then the left arm will rise. So this pose, definitely a detox pose, side angle, twist plus triangle. They're all working that side body. They're known as that idea to kind of rid the toxins, opening, 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 and then those twists get right into the midsection. They wake up the abdominal organs. Good. Now take this left arm way over your head, so stretch, stretch, stretch. Now look up to your palm, three, it's a hard gaze, two, Lower your left hand, walk forward, right hand, pivot left foot, one, two, three, over to the left, and then exhale, hips back. So this is your pyramid pose, right foot is flat, left foot is walked over the left side of the mat, and then you're working really nice into those hamstrings. Three, two, exhale, look forward, top of the mat, feet together. Good, let's rise to stand, inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, broaden your heart. Good, return and fold forward. Let's take a flat back, plank, step back. We'll start with the left side this time, okay? So tap, tap right, tap, tap right. Good, so it's 
Six more. Last four. Good. Breathe. Last two. Take an inhale, exhale, push back. Nice, so you felt that heat, a little bit of burn, a little bit of different breath. Exhale, plank. Let's take it down to our bellies. Good. Now untuck your toes, tops of your feet down. Three cobras or three variations of the back bend that you choose. So if you like to take your hands wider, you could do that too, okay? So that option looks like this. So I'm gonna widen my fingers out. And kind of open it up. Yeah, and then do one more if you want. Again, it should feel good, so don't do something if it doesn't feel good. Child's pose, push back. Nice, breathe. Heart rate comes down, you settle. Good, now let's inhale, shift forward to hands and knees. Wag your booty a little bit. Ground your palms, inhale, look up, so sway your backs, good. Exhale, tuck your chin, round, round, round. One more time, inhale. And then your exhale will take you right into down dog. Breath in through the nose. Open it, sigh. Left leg, inhale, reach it up. Good, exhale, step forward. Right hand stays down, left arm up, twist. So look to the sky, nice. As you look up, stack those shoulders, squeeze and engage your butt, three. Two, left hand lowers inside a foot, so my pinky finger meets the inside of my foot, the outside of my shoulder meets the inside of my knee, and then I drop my heel to then peel open. Side angle pose, not an easy pose. Good, lots of effort here. So you wanna feel that broadening in the right side. Breathing for three. As you lean back for two. One more breath, now lower the right hand down a little bit, like kinda of towards you, and then wide-legged forward fold, pivot. Good, so I just kinda of rolled away from you. Good, breathe in and out here. So you're in this nice forward fold. And then slowly rise all the way up. Again, we're gonna pivot our toes out, 10 and two. Hands to thighs, sink down. Good, now bring your hands to your heart and then inhale, lift your arms, straighten your legs. Exhale, squat. One more time, lift and squat. Now hold, but put your hands on your thighs, good. Left shoulder dips in first, look to the right, three, two, switch sides, right shoulder dips in, look left, three, two, inhale, come back to center, hold, rise up. Good, let's set up our feet. We're gonna move to triangle like we did before. So watch the popping of this hip. A lot of people go right into this pop and that locks out the front legs. So you wanna be careful. So soften the knee a little bit, engage the stomach, reach, and then move to triangle. So again, I'm gonna heel toe back once I get there. And this knee in the front, so my left leg, you can see is slightly bent, it's really important. Good, keep reaching to the sky. And then see if you can take your right arm over the head, bicep by the ear, again, another hard stretch, and maybe turn your gaze up to that palm. Three, two, inhale, arm to sky. Exhale, look down, right hand down, and then your left, good job. Now walk your left foot to the left, step your right foot up and over to the right, pyramid pose. So pull your hip bones back as your chest shifts forward and then fold over your left shin. As you fold over your left shin, continue to stretch the back of those legs. Good. Feel the weight of any stress roll off the body right now. 
And then exhale to look forward with fingertips. One, two, three, right foot up. Good, lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold in. Rise all the way up to stand. So take your time, squeeze those legs, reach. Good, now pull your right knee to your chest. So you're standing on your left foot, right knee is in tight. Push down through your left foot as you lift your right knee higher. Good, and now take your left hand outside of your leg. Raise your right arm up to the sky and then make a huge twist behind you as you look back at your right thumbs. Right thumb, you only have one of those. Good, squeeze, 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 three. Two, cross right foot over left foot, hands to hips, fold forward, and welcome this nice deep stretch to your hamstrings and your IT band. Your pinky toes are touching as you fold in. And breathe. Three, two, squeeze your legs, come all the way up, tighten it up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Reach your arms up, hands to heart, release your feet, and rest. Good, stand tall, reach your chest forward. Now, put weight into the opposite foot, so let's bring our left knee up, reach up, right hand outside of thigh. Keep your left arm in the air so that you can make that full rotation good into your twist. And you might fall over, because I almost did. <laughs> And rotate, rotate, good, hold this. Push down through your right leg, make it stronger, three. Look behind you, two, come on. Now look forward, cross your left foot over your right, hands to hips, let's let it go. Good, fingertips towards the ground. Once you arrive, your pinky toes are touching if you can, your feet are flat if possible. Exhale, take your time, squeeze those legs, tone them up, so rise all the way up, squeeze to the top. Good, uncross, and then we'll move to deep yogi squat. So send your toes out, 10 and two, and sink on down. Good, so this is nice to open the hips and hopefully release the low back. You wanna try to get that tailbone to drop straight down. So a lot of us tend to hold this pose right here so do your best to move here. Good, and now try to pinch your shoulder blades together and then feel the activation all the way down the spine. Three, two, without your hands, plop your butt down, pull your knees in for boat, so reach your arms forward. Good, hands to heart center. Think about a chair pose twist, exhale, twist right. Center, twist left, center, good, right, tap the thigh, center, left, center, keep going, right, center, left, four more, right, center, left, three more, come on, right, center, left, last two, right, center, left, last one, right, center, Left, hold, three, two, one. Good, cross your ankles, sit up nice and tall. Now, make sure your legs are crossed the uncomfortable way. So, for example, this way is where it feels kind of awkward. That's what I want first. Raise your arms up, we're gonna twist left. So same thing we started with, that seated spinal twist after we did some core, look over your shoulder. Good, notice the length in your spine here, find your breath. And now we're gonna exhale, move your shoulder to your knee again. So lean right shoulder, right knee. Raise your left arm up and over your head and see if you have a bit more room. Good, three, two, come back to your seated spinal twist. So left fingertips behind you, look all the way over the shoulder, twist further, you got this, you got this. Good, come back through center, inhale, reach up first. Exhale, side two, so twisting right. 
So normally our classes are always designed right side, left side, specifically because of the ascending and descending colon. So it's the idea of preparing the right side of the body so that it moves in line with the process of the way that our digestive system works. So a little bit about that detox practice. So moving opposite right now is a little different. So now lean your left shoulder to your knee, raise your right arm way up and over, and then just feel that ooey gooey goodness of your right side. Good, keep lengthening out for three, two, get really long. Now come all the way up, put your fingertips behind you and twist, twist, twist. Good, three, sit up tall, rotate two, you got this. And one, good, come back to center. Now plant your feet, make a big hug around those legs. So feel like you're giving yourself a huge, huge squeeze. Good, so feel this egg shape. And then exhale, scoot your bum forward and lay down onto your back. So you're gonna keep your feet rooted down into the ground. You're gonna knees are facing the sky and as your feet are flat, we're gonna bridge and wave up. So inhale, arms up, hips up, bridge up. Exhale, hips down, arms down. Twice more, inhale, hips up, arms up, engage. Exhale, hips down, arms down. One more time, inhale, hips up, arms up, hold it, three. Stay here, two. Keep your arms where they are, and then lower your hips. Now, if you can, do me a favor. Try to grab opposite elbows or triceps. If you can only hold opposite forearms, that's okay, but really try to get that full grip, and then keep those arms over your head. So your ribs are spreading a little bit. Pull your stomach down nice and hard. And now keep that engagement as long as you're comfortable. Otherwise, you don't have to hold on. And bring your knees to 90 degrees. Good, pull your ribs down, lift your tailbone up and down. So what this does is it forces you, keep going, we're gonna do four more, to really engage that stomach and to get the rest of the body not involved. Keep pulling those ribs in and down, let's do two more. Pick it up, put it down, and this should force you to shake, so that's good. Exhale, feet go flat. Good, now bring your forearms up so they're over your nose and you're gonna switch the cross, okay? So switch opposite hand on top, AKA now it's awkward, and then reach your hands over your head. Good, knees come back to 90. Five more, exhale, lift and tap, lift and tap. You have three, good job. Two, pick up that butt, one more. Good, now pause, bring your feet down at the same time, bring your forearms up, good, raise your arms up, and then all the way down. Right ankle is going to cross over your left leg, hug your left leg in for a nice hip stretch on the right as you rock from side to side. So working into the hips and releasing some of that emotional tension can be really, really detoxifying. But a lot of times, as long as the body is warmer, or we had longer, we could really, really get into that region. But we kind of stayed surface with these poses. So just kind of exploring and feeling the sensations as we moved along. Good, I like to rock a little bit in this pose because I'll rock to kind of that part of my back that really needs the pressure too. And then on your next breath for me, guys, go ahead and switch your feet. So opposite one on top. Good, pull it in. You may have a side that, you know, is better for you. So it's the side that either gives you a better stretch or just feels better. For a lot of people, it's really hard to even hug the knees in. So the fact that you can do that, that's a win. Good, exhale, lower your feet to the ground. Good, inhale, drop your knees right. Drop your knees left. So we're just gonna wag those feet side to side. So feet are open as the knees go right. Feet are open as the knees go left. Keep it up for three, side to side. Go to the right, two. 
side to side one more time good job and over nice pause and center exhale bring your knees together interlace your fingers push the palms up to the sky continue to reach over your head as far as you can now breathe into the ribs heart suck the belly in and then open your mouth One more time, breathe in, ribs, heart, belly pulls in, and sigh. Let's give our knees a big hug. So grab those shins, squeeze them in tight. And then let's end how we started with our feet together and our knees apart. So Supta Baddha Kunasana, supine bound angle. Put your hands on your low belly as your knees fall to the sides and just start to find your breath. As your knees fall apart, I encourage you to notice the sensation in the groin and the hips, the inner thighs. Where do you start to release tension? Maybe sometimes in this pose, if your hips are tight, it can create more tension, which is when you don't really want to be doing it. Keep your feet together, keep your knees apart for three, two, and then when you're ready, very carefully keep the eyes closed, let the knees come together, and then let your legs extend all the way for me. Take those arms all the way overhead, you deserve that big, long, full body stretch, lengthening. Big sigh again. Hug your knees to your chest for me. You did a great job. Pull them in, push your back down. Yes. Rock up to seated or roll to your right. Bring your hands to your heart as you sit up tall and then let your eyes close. Let a smile come over your face or let a smile come through your mind as your mouth softens. Never be forced to smile. Choose when it's part of your day and part of your practice. Choosing your emotions versus letting other emotions control you. Always choosing love. Take one more breath and appreciating your practice. Let's bow forward. Namaste. Hope you guys feel well. You did a great job.